Welcome to our English lesson. Today, we're telling a story about an emperor. He thinks he's wearing special clothes, but they are not real at all. Imagine believing you're wearing clothes, but actually, you're not wearing anything. That's pretty odd, isn't it? Join us to find out what happened, improve your English, and have fun along the way. Listen to the story carefully. A long time ago, there lived an emperor who loved new clothes so much that he spent all his money on them. He didn't bother about his soldiers or go to the theater. Instead, he only went out to show off his new clothes. He had a different suit for every hour of the day, and people often said, he is living in his wardrobe. One day, two weavers came to town, claiming they could weave the most beautiful cloth. The clothes made from this special cloth would be invisible to anyone unfit for their job or simple in character. Excited, the emperor thought, this must be splendid. I can find out who in my kingdom is unfit for their job. He paid the weavers to start working on the cloth. The weavers, however, were tricksters. They set up looms and pretended to weave, but in reality, they did nothing. They asked for the finest silk and gold thread, which they kept for themselves. They pretended to work on the looms until late at night. One day, the emperor became curious about the progress and sent his faithful old wise man to check. The wise man couldn't see anything on the looms, but didn't want to admit it. He praised the invisible cloth and described its beauty to the emperor. The weavers continued their deceit, asking for more materials to complete their work. The emperor then sent another advisor to inspect the cloth, who, like the wise man, pretended to see the patterns. Finally, the emperor himself wanted to see the material. He took his officers and advisors to the weavers. The weavers, still pretending, pointed to the empty frames, and everyone in the group praised the invisible cloth. The emperor, not wanting to admit he couldn't see anything, went along with the praise. He even planned a parade to show off his new clothes. The weavers continued their act, pretending to make the emperor's new suit. On the day of the parade, his court and the people marveled at the clothes. Everyone praised the emperor's magnificent outfit until a little child spoke the truth. But he has nothing at all on. Suddenly, the truth spread, and everyone realized they had been fooled. The emperor, embarrassed but knowing people were right, continued the parade in his underwear. The story teaches us not to be deceived by appearances and to value honesty over empty praise. Vocabulary and Phrases Before our speaking practice, Let's learn some new words and phrases from our story to improve our English skills together. Emperor means a ruler of an empire. Example, the emperor ruled over a vast empire. Weavers means people who make cloth by interlacing threads. Example, the weavers worked tirelessly to produce fine cloth. Invisible means something that cannot be seen. Example, the invisible ink became visible under the UV light. Curious means having a strong desire to know or learn something. Example, the curious child asked many questions. Deceit means the action of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. Example, the swindler's deceit was eventually uncovered. Pretend means behave as if something is true when it is not. Example, the children like to pretend they are pirates. 
Parade means a public procession, especially one celebrating a special day or event. Example, the streets were filled with people watching the parade. Embarrassed means feeling ashamed or awkward. Example, he felt embarrassed after tripping in public. Honesty means the quality of being honest and truthful. Example, honesty is an important value in many cultures. Magnificent means impressively beautiful or elaborate, splendid. Example, the palace was a magnificent sight. Praise means express warm approval or admiration of. Example, the teacher praised the student for her hard work. Wardrobe means a large, tall cabinet or similar piece of furniture for storing clothes. Example, he kept his clothes neatly in the wardrobe. Splendid means very impressive, magnificent. Example, the fireworks display was absolutely splendid. Trickster means a person who deceives or cheats others, often for amusement or profit. Example, the trickster fooled everyone with his clever disguise. Faithful means loyal and devoted. Example, his faithful dog never left his side. Speaking practice session. Repeat after me. A long time ago. A long time ago. There lived an emperor who loved new clothes so much. There lived an emperor who loved new clothes so much that he spent all his money on them. That he spent all his money on them. He didn't bother about his soldiers or go to the theater. He didn't bother about his soldiers or go to the theater. Instead, he only went out to show off his new clothes. Instead, he only went out to show off his new clothes. He had a different suit for every hour of the day. He had a different suit for every hour of the day. And people often said, he is living in his wardrobe. And people often said, he is living in his wardrobe. One day, two weavers came to town. One day, two weavers came to town, claiming they could weave the most beautiful cloth. Claiming they could weave the most beautiful cloth. The clothes made from this special cloth would be invisible. The clothes made from this special cloth would be invisible. To anyone unfit for their job or simple in character. To anyone unfit for their job or simple in character. Excited, the emperor thought, this must be splendid. Excited, the emperor thought, this must be splendid. I can find out who in my kingdom is unfit for their job. I 
I can find out who in my kingdom is unfit for their job. He paid the weavers to start working on the cloth. He paid the weavers to start working on the cloth. The weavers, however, were tricksters. The weavers, however, were tricksters. They set up looms and pretended to weave. They set up looms and pretended to weave. But in reality, they did nothing. But in reality, they did nothing. They asked for the finest silk and gold thread. They asked for the finest silk and gold thread. Which they kept for themselves. Which they kept for themselves. They pretended to work on the looms until late at night. They pretended to work on the looms until late at night. One day, the emperor became curious about the progress. One day, the emperor became curious about the progress. And sent his faithful old wise man to check. And sent his faithful old wise man to check. The wise man couldn't see anything on the looms. The wise man couldn't see anything on the looms. But didn't want to admit it. But didn't want to admit it. He praised the invisible cloth. He praised the invisible cloth. And described its beauty to the emperor. And described its beauty to the emperor. The weavers continued their deceit. The weavers continued their deceit. Asking for more materials to complete their work. Asking for more materials to complete their work. The emperor then sent another advisor to inspect the cloth. The emperor then sent another advisor to inspect the cloth. Who, like the wise man, pretended to see the patterns? Who, like the wise man, pretended to see the patterns? Finally, the emperor himself wanted to see the material. Finally, the emperor himself wanted to see the material. He took his officers and advisors to the weavers. He took his officers and advisors to the weavers. The weavers, still pretending, pointed to the empty frames. The weavers, still pretending, pointed to the empty frames.
and everyone in the group praised the invisible cloth. And everyone in the group praised the invisible cloth. The emperor, not wanting to admit he couldn't see anything. The emperor, not wanting to admit he couldn't see anything. Went along with the praise. Went along with the praise. He even planned a parade to show off his new clothes. He even planned a parade to show off his new clothes. The weavers continued their act. The weavers continued their act. Pretending to make the emperor's new suit. Pretending to make the emperor's new suit. On the day of the parade. On the day of the parade. His court and the people marveled at the clothes. His court and the people marveled at the clothes. Everyone praised the emperor's magnificent outfit. Everyone praised the emperor's magnificent outfit. Until a little child spoke the truth. Until a little child spoke the truth. But he has nothing at all on. But he has nothing at all on. Suddenly the truth spread. Suddenly the truth spread. And everyone realized they had been fooled. And everyone realized they had been fooled. The emperor, embarrassed but knowing people were right. The emperor, embarrassed but knowing people were right. Continued the parade in his underwear. Continued the parade in his underwear. The story teaches us not to be deceived by appearances. The story teaches us not to be deceived by appearances. And to value honesty over empty praise. And to value honesty over empty praise. Let's revisit the story. A long time ago, there lived an emperor who loved new clothes so much that he spent all his money on them. He didn't bother about his soldiers or go to the theater. Instead, he only went out to show off his new clothes. He had a different suit for every hour of the day, and people often said, he is living in his wardrobe. One day, two weavers came to town, claiming they could weave the most beautiful cloth. The clothes made from this special cloth would be invisible to anyone unfit for their job or simple in character. Excited, the emperor thought, this must be splendid. I can find out who in my kingdom is unfit for their job. He paid the weavers to start working on the cloth. The weavers, however, were tricksters. 
they set up looms and pretended to weave. But in reality, they did nothing. They asked for the finest silk and gold thread, which they kept for themselves. They pretended to work on the looms until late at night. One day, the emperor became curious about the progress and sent his faithful old wise man to check. The wise man couldn't see anything on the looms, but didn't want to admit it. He praised the invisible cloth and described its beauty to the emperor. The weavers continued their deceit, asking for more materials to complete their work. The emperor then sent another advisor to inspect the cloth, who, like the wise man, pretended to see the patterns. Finally, the emperor himself wanted to see the material. He took his officers and advisors to the weavers. The weavers, still pretending, pointed to the empty frames, and everyone in the group praised the invisible cloth. The emperor, not wanting to admit he couldn't see anything, went along with the praise. He even planned a parade to show off his new clothes. The weavers continued their act, pretending to make the emperor's new suit. On the day of the parade, his court and the people marveled at the clothes. Everyone praised the emperor's magnificent outfit until a little child spoke the truth. But he has nothing at all on. Suddenly, the truth spread, and everyone realized they had been fooled. The emperor, embarrassed but knowing people were right, continued the parade in his underwear. The story teaches us not to be deceived by appearances and to value honesty over empty praise. Great job today. Keep up the good work. Each lesson brings you one step closer to fluency. We can't wait to see you in our next lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons.